This is Greg Gallagher with G3 Investors. We're going to take a look at the 1987 crash. This occurred on, the crash itself occurred on October 19th, Monday, 1987. And it was considered Black Monday. Okay. Now I'm looking at this and let me point out to you that in 1987, I worked for a boating company in Ohio. I was the CFO. And I had just put in a 401k system and allowed employees earlier that that summer to to make you know contributions, and the company would match the contributions, and they could make a comfort they could convert a, a 401k or an IRA to this 401k, and uh, we encouraged that. So everybody, a lot of people did it. You know, I mean, uh, we had considerable amount of people participated in the 401k. So little did I know at the time that the market was going to crash. Now, even though I never twisted anybody's arm or, but being the, the CFO of the company, everybody looked to me and said, what are you doing? And at the time I had about 25,000 in an IRA account. So I said, I'm going to convert that IRA account into the 401k and get the company match at 2%. And then on future uh, contributions, you got a match of uh, 50% up to 8%. So I did the max on that too. But little did I know I was going to have a, we were going to have a crash. So uh, when that crash happened, I can tell you people were in my office the next day upset because they couldn't get a hold of the broker the previous day. And it, it was just an absolute nightmare. But the purpose of this video is to look at that crash and to see, first of all, let me point out that ETFs didn't, didn't exist. So this is a, a, a chart from stockcharts.com showing the industrials, the Dow Jones Industrial Average for the, the time period in question. And uh, so I'm looking at this as how would have we traded had we had DIA, which would have been the ETF we could have traded. And had we used the G3 methodology? Well, the first thing I want to point out is the we would have been in the market back here, and, and I just guessed that the gain would be in 10%. It doesn't matter. Uh, buy and hold people would have enjoyed the same sort of gain. But uh, using our methodology, we have, we have a high here. So we a closing high of one, two, three. So that's the area right there where we would have been stopped out for the gain. And then you see this green bar, horizontal bar, and the red horizontal bar. Well, the small gains and losses inside that area are insignificant for purposes of this video. They wouldn't really have resulted in much of a gain or a loss. But again, kind of counting backwards. One, two, three. Okay, so we would have stopped out right there on that bar and before any consideration of going short. So when we short the market, and this is something that I haven't done a video on yet, we look for a series of lower lows and lower highs. And we, we have this little thing here, right there, and again, we shorted it here, one, two, three. So we would have went short at 2450 on this red bar right here, okay, or the red candlestick, whatever you want to call it. And then we would have been in for the ride. That's the day. That's the big day. That's the next day. It actually even went lower. We'd have got stopped out on this green bar for about a 1,750 point or a 700 point gain for 28.6%. So 10% on the way up, 28.6% on the way down. That's a total combined gain of almost 40%. Okay, compared to people who were uh, buy and hold, they would have had to suffer through this and lost. And how do I know? I lived through it. I suffered and lost. So I was a bolt buy and hold guy. Now, I don't have any things drawn here, but uh, until we get over this bar, okay, this big bar here, because that's one, two, okay, we have to go back up and I would probably not have been interested in getting back in the market under a G3 trading methodology until around 2200 on this, this chart here. So 
we would have stayed out of the market all this time. But all this time that went by, people suffered. I mean, they, they came in, they wanted their money back. They, they were up here. They wanted their money back. I'm like, well, I can't give you your money back. Well, I called my broker and I couldn't even get a hold of him. Of course not, because this was massive volume here and they wouldn't even, the, the, the brokers wouldn't take calls. When you tried to call your broker, you couldn't get in. I mean, they were dealing with customers who had millions and millions of dollars. Our entire 401k for the whole company was only four million. We wouldn't get a we didn't get a call into them probably until three or four days after this. So the purpose of this, I, as I've said in previous videos, I don't like back testing, but you can see just by counting here, and I know this is a very busy schedule, but had we had the availability, this is this is the real benefit of having a trend trading system as simple as G3 investors because you you sleep comfortably during this period. You don't have to go through the agony of a 25 to 30 percent decline. And believe me, this is just a minor one, although it was a very scary one and very real to all the people that suffered through it. That's it for this video. This is Greg Gallagher with G3 Investors saying good luck, good trading, and a happy and prosperous new year.